friends hope you are doing well in this discussion uh, to know like how to create custom modules in case you missed previous discussion about say like amats please review those videos and still if you don't know how to configure to with pycharm editor you can see in description having one link uh, well first we need to understand is where is the list of modules in front and side so here you can uh, see like uh, those are the list of modules but uh, before that one you can see here there are main two menus you can see here apps and another is a settings so apps once you will click here it will redirect to this page and by default admin only can see these menus like uh, these two menus like uh, if you have a uh, multiple users they can't see because this is one ad one kind of administration part here you can see the red color crm which is the main directory of that module when you click here and uh, go to module info you can see here a list of the descriptions the first one is the module description what is it like it's a crm created by oduser then after we didn't install right now so here you can see there are two buttons one is upgrade and one is install so when you click in install it will install this crm module along with you can see few more description like website category of the add-ons summary like you can add any text data then after technical name like this crm from back end side it's created one directory and inside that one having a models view and everything so once i will go to pycharm here you can see in add-ons you can see this crm crm module and inside in manifest file having all the things like descriptions let's move to the front end side here the license then after latest version then after if you go to technical data tab here you can see is it a demo data so by default it's a false because we didn't add any demo data then after it's application then after status is not installed there are many uh, there are few status like uh, installed not installed to be upgrade like that one and here you can see this is dependencies modules like if you want to install the crm module then uh, you need a dependent another modules so when i will click to install it will first check this dependent first trying to install and then after and lastly successfully install all this dependent module it will install crm module so right now we are moving to back end side now we will try to create a new module here i will give you a short demo like what is the basic requirement to show in front and side and tap next session you can see how to create module model and use so now uh, we will create a new module here i will give you short demo like what is the basic requirement to show in front of side and next session you can see how to create model and use so when i will click right click here we have to choose like python package here we have to give uh, name of the module let's say school so once i will cl uh, click it will create one initialize file which is mandatory also one more thing is we need to create one uh, python file name is underscore underscore manifest underscore underscore py file here you, you can see one is a init file which is mandatory another is a manifest file so uh, the manifest file contains metadata about this module and if you know more about underscore underscore manifest underscore underscore py file please review previous video having more detail so right now this is a simple uh, 
dictionary and in this dictionary we have to give some uh, informatic name of the module like metadata and it is predefined data uh, predefined keys so we don't need to add any extra keys if you will add any extra keys don't worry it will not uh, having any issue but a uh, few keys we need to add in every custom module so first one is a name which is very important it will display in front of in front and side like here you can see this crm like here we have to give school so it will display like that uh, as a school then after we have to use version versioning control then after we have to give a summary let's a school management system then after i will give one sequence s e q u e n sequence and i will give first number sequence number by default is a 15 then after we have to use description this is school management system software supported in version 30 so it will display as a description then after category like what kind of category so basically we will create a new category school Oops. then after i will give website name school model also so in next session we will see how to create a new model 
and uh, while installing we will see like a form view search view list view and all thank you for watching this video have a nice day and if you have any query please comment below